Hey guys, so I wanted to do a real quick update video on my cold plunge. Um, I made another update video of adding the chiller, but this video I've added a heater. So this is something you're gonna wanna check out. Um, if you own a cold plunge and you live in a cold climate, you need to figure out a way to keep your water from freezing and keep it circulating. Um, in cold temperatures. Last year we had negative 55 here in Montana, so it got really cold. Now, as you can see, my cold plunge is in my garage. My garage is actually a detached shop. It is heated and I do heat it in the winter time, but the heat is not running constantly. Um, I usually just turn the heat on when I'm out here working in here. Uh, otherwise it runs constantly. So uh, I got a diesel heater here in my shop. And so the temperatures will frequently get below freezing here in my shop when it's obviously like 55 below out. Now, one of the things that I planned to do um, was put in just like a little space heater in the guts of my uh, plumbing system to keep that warm, that space warm, which I still may do if it gets really, really cold, but I wanted something a little more permanent and a little easier to deal with that would kick on when I needed it to and shut off when I didn't want it to. So. Let me introduce you to this awesome product. All right, guys, so hopefully you can see inside the plumbing of my spa. Go! And I'll give you a brief overview of what we've got going on here. This is the water coming out of the tank. It's getting sucked up through the pump. It's going up through the pump, through the filter, through the Venturi valve, and then right here through this little guy. This is our spa guts heater. And right now it is warming the water up and it's pushing that water through the spa guts heater out into my chiller and then back in um, into the hot tub. It's so plunge, you idiot. one of the thoughts and questions that I had for myself when doing this, and obviously it is working right now, I'll show you. So here's my Inkbird temperature controller and it's, as you can see, the heating light is on. So I have the temperature, the heating temperature set at 53. And so what's happening is this is my actual water temperature right now. I had it set down to 47 degrees. That's kind of where I like it. But I wanted to, um, I wanted to test this out to see if it was gonna work. So I had to set my temperature higher than my actual tub temperature. And as you can see, the ink bird is kicking on the heating element. The heating element is actually this guy right here. So this is the cooling plug, this is the heating plug. And so this spa guts is plugged in right here and it's now heating my water up. And I've only had this running maybe four or five minutes or so and it's raised it a little over two degrees. So it's working. Um, now, this is not gonna turn your cold plunge into a hot tub. Um, it's just not gonna be that warm. It's going to, the purpose of this is literally just to keep the water from freezing. So eventually I'll set this back at 47 degrees. And when I do that, it's gonna kick off the heating element and it's gonna kick on the um, chiller and it'll power up the chiller. So the water will just bypass through the heating element. It won't be turning it on. It'll go down into the chiller, the chiller will cool it and it'll come back up. Now, one thing you need to know about these spa guts heaters, there's two models. This one, uh, as you can see, is the SG101-15 up. And if you read right here, it says inline pressure. Now it's really important to understand that depending on where you install this, there's two types. One's a pressure and one's a vacuum. Now, if I was gonna have this heater installed before the pump, so like, let's say hypothetically, I put it in right there before the pump, I would need the vacuum model. So it's really important when you, if you choose to do this with your um, cold plunge as well, that you pick the right model. You need to have one that either goes before your pump, which is the vacuum model, or after your pump, which is the pressure model. I hope that makes sense. And uh, I just ordered this off of Amazon. I think it was like 179 bucks maybe, or 175 bucks. But cheap insurance, the reason I put it here is because I want warm, ish warmer water going into my chiller so that my chiller doesn't freeze um, in the winter time so there you have it guys i now have a water heater in my cold plunge to keep it from freezing thanks for watching